resting now, Tainari. Do you want to rest some more? There's some shade here, so we can stop for a while. Uh, all right, let's do that. Sino and Tainari. Uh, and you've got the Traveler and Paimon with you. Oh, hey, Layla! Yeah, the sun was too strong, so I decided to take cover here for a while. What about you? Uh, are you all done already? Unfortunately not. I'm not quite as capable as I thought. I intend to withdraw from this round. Sino and the Traveler are escorting me back to Aru Village. W withdraw Can you even do that? I believe the rules do provide for such a situation. Alhatham did say that the act of leaving the competition grounds would result in disqualification from the round. Didn't I ask you if you were all right before this? If you had just decided to withdraw then, you wouldn't have had to suffer. Well, I had to try, didn't I? So I tried, and it didn't work out. And now I'm backing out while I can. When I get back, I'm definitely going to make a batch of sun-resistant oil. Next time I venture into the desert, I'll be prepared. By the way, you're Layla, aren't you? You don't look very well yourself. Will you be all right? Uh... I did feel a little faint when I first entered the desert, but I feel a lot better after resting here for a while. Be careful not to push yourself too hard. Uh, don't worry. I'm just... Feeling the pressure? Uh-huh. Uh, you can tell? Your expression is similar to the ones I see on criminals' faces when I interrogate them. To tell you the truth, I'm still not sure whether I have what it takes to represent the Ratawahis Darshan in the championship. Most people voted for me because of all the rumors surrounding me, and to be honest, those rumors don't really mean anything. Now I don't know how to deal with all the expectations they've put on me. Even the people who usually criticize me voted for me this time. Uh, so I feel like I have to live up to their expectations somehow. So their expectations are putting pressure on you? Uh, yes. Uh, actually, I heard that you were voted in as well, Tainari. Uh, how do you deal with it? To be completely honest, I don't really feel any pressure. Firstly, those who expect things from you do not necessarily do so for benign reasons. On the other hand, those who do consider your feelings certainly wouldn't want you to push yourself. Next, we are researchers. Our primary duty is to interact with knowledge, not to meet others' expectations. As for me, I took part in this competition to advertise for an academic lecture at Gendarvaville next month. I'll obviously try my best during the competition, but I won't let any additional pressure get to me. I think you can also try to find a clearly defined goal. That may help you. Huh. I understand. Uh, thanks for your advice. Uh, I'm absolutely parched after talking so much. I've still got some water with me. No, I'll be alright. We aren't far from Aru Village, so I can go the rest of the way myself. You should get back to the competition. Don't you want to win that limited edition card? Yes. All right then. Your spirit will live on through me. Hey, don't talk like that. I'm not dead, Sino. <sighs> Everyone, I'll be heading back now. See you after the round ends. I'll continue searching for the ley line disruptors. Are you feeling better now, Layla? Yeah, 
I feel like some of the weight has been taken off my shoulders after chatting with Tainari. It's been a long time since I first left my hometown to come to the Academia, and every day here has been so precious. But of course, there have been some rough times. All sorts of complex astrological models, countless quizzes, and essays that took all my brain power to barely finish. Each of those things are like huge boulders barreling at me, forcing me to continue running forward. When I was chosen as my Darshan's representative, it felt like another boulder was added to the ones already rolling behind me. Every time I close my eyes, I think of all the people I disappoint if I mess up. Yeah, I think that's what Tainari was trying to tell me. You're our good friends, which is why you didn't stop him from dropping out of this round, and why you don't feel disappointed in me. That's right! No need to feel so down! Uh, that said, he did also say that he hopes I could have more concrete goals for taking part in this competition. Uh, I don't have any now, but I'll give that some thought. Anyway, I won't take up any more of your time. You still have to record the other contestants' progress, don't you? Perhaps they've had some breakthroughs while we've been chatting. True. We should go look for the others. Hmm, now, who's left? Tainari's dropped out for the round, and we just saw Sino. Uh, you could go see how Madame Farozan's doing. I've heard that she's quite knowledgeable about the desert, so she's probably made some progress by now.